What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the most requested Pokemon across the channel and everybody's Gen 2 favorite, Ampharos. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? How are you watching my videos without being subscribed? That should seriously be a crime. You should be put away. You should be getting on out of here. I'm just playing around, but yo, know, seriously, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way, and it helps me grow as a content creator. But let's get started here with Ampharos and the team preview. Ampharos is such a cool Pokemon. Really, really cool, but there is some better options. But like I said, Ampharos is cool, and I would love to use it in a battle. But I feel like everybody who played Gen 2 had this Pokemon on their team. So it's just like, it just has a nice place to everyone's heart. It's just such a cool Pokemon, and it's an oldie that doesn't see much love. It does not see much love, but I don't really know what this Pokemon is. Like, Mareep, its first evolution, is a sheep. Flaffy is also a sheep, but it's, like, standing up. But then it just turns into this thing. And we're all sitting here like, dude, what the heck is this? It's not a sheep anymore. So, if any of you guys do know what it is, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know. I would love to know. Or is it just its own thing? Is it just an Ampharos? I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. But let's get started here with that team preview. The item for this Pokemon is going to be that Life Orb. We got this thing boosted in special attack, so we just want this thing to hold that Life Orb and do as much damage as it possibly can. Nature for this guy is going to be timid to give it a speed boost. EVs, like I said, special attack boost it, a little bit in HP, and a little bit in speed. Static as its ability. And last but not least, this moveset right here. A Volt Switch, Discharge for big stab damage, Dragon Pulse for coverage, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Pachirisa over here. And this thing is going to pair phenomenally with that Ampharos due to its ability Volt Absorb. We're going to get started here with this moveset. It's just here for support. It's got follow me to protect our Ampharos or any ally Pokemon. Protect, Super Fang, which is guaranteed half health on any Pokemon. Nuzzle for speed control and paralyzes. EVs for this guy is HP and defense. We're just bulked up. We're trying to soak up shots and protect ally Pokemon. Volt Absorb adds this thing's ability. Like I said, this thing is going to pair well with Ampharos due to that ability. So every time Ampharos is on the field, if I use Discharge, we're going to be able to hit both ally Pokemon, not ally Pokemon, both opposing Pokemon and heal up Pachirisu at the same time. So really, really good. I can go into follow me, soak up shots, go into free discharges with our life orb Ampharos and heal up our Patrisa at the same time to keep it in there longer and just keep using follow me and rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. You guys get the problem. You guys get what's going on there, but hopefully we get the showcase in that battle. Nature for this guy is going to be imp Impish, so it gets a defense boost. And last but not least, we got that Citrus Berry as an item, so it gets more HP when it falls below half. Third Pokemon on the squad is Gyarados. Gyarados is just great on any single team. I feel like I don't even have to say anything about Gyarados anymore because in this format, it's basically the same build every single time. We got Lumberry as its item. Nature's going to be Jolly. EVs are HP, Attack, Speed. Obviously, Intimidate ability. And last but not least, a fairly normal moveset with Waterfall Crunch, Dragon Dance to set up, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Tyranitar, another great physical attacker just like Gyarados. We got Protect, Dragon Dance, Crunch, Rock Slide. EVs are Attack and Speed with the Sandstream ability. Nature's going to be adamant to give it that attack boost. And last but not least, item is Focus Ash, so this Pokemon doesn't get one tapped. And I love having Focus Ash on Titar. I just feel like he gets a lot more value with his Focus Ash. Because sometimes, especially when he goes up against fighting Pokemon that are four times super effective, he just gets stumped on. So having that Focus Ash allows him to stay in the battle a little bit longer and help out our team tremendously. Next Pokemon is going to pair perfectly with that Tyranitar, and that is Sand Veil Guard Jump over here. We got Yachi Berry as its item, so Ice Moves won't hit us as hard. We got Jolly Nature, Attack and Speed as its EVs, and then last but not least, Moveset, do I even have to say it? Sword Sands, Protect, Dragon Claw, and EQ. Last Pokemon on the squad is a Pokemon that is super, super strong. This thing has the Choice Scarf. It is Gardevoir over here. Choice Scarf, like I just said, with Moonblast, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Focus Blast. EVs for this guy, just special attack and speed. It's there to outspeed everything. It's there to do big damage and just control the battle that way. It also has Telepathy or Telepathy as its ability. So any uh, ally hitting moves such as Discharge will not hit this Pokemon. So this can actually be paired well with Ampharos as well as the Pachirisu. Nature for this guy is going to be modest, give it that special attack boost, and last but not least, the item, like I said multiple times, is that choice scarf. Guys, if you want to check out the EVs, we got that Poke Paste down in the description below. Everything is down there. Go check it out if you want to see anything about this team. But without further ado, let's hop onto that ladder, look to get some wins with this Life Orb Ampharos team. Before we get started with battle number one, I want to let you guys know that your boy is streaming five plus days every single week over on Twitch. Name is right on the layout and link is down in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Definitely head over there. Hit that follow button. Turn on notifications so you know when I go live and come hang out with us, yo. Come say hi. Come say what's up. Talk to me. I would love to see you guys there. But let's hop into this first battle, lock in this Ampharos team, and look to just get started here on a strong note. This guy is a pretty cool team with Aerodactyl, Arcanine, and then he has uh, Togekiss, Scizor, Infernape and Suicune. 
I feel like Ampharos and Pachirisu combo could do some work here. So I'm going to lock it in and try to showcase them here in battle number one. So those two get in the lead. Who else should we bring here? I could bring Titar. Titar does some work here. The only Pokemon that I'm really scared of is going to be that Scizor. So I might want to bring Intimidate Gyarados in here. Plus Gyarados could do work onto that Aerodactyl, onto the Arcanine, onto the Infernape. It's just great all around. So I'm with him. I wanted to bring Gardevoir, but if he brings Scizor, it's over with. So I think it's either Titar or Garchomp. And I'm leaning more towards Titar because if we bring Garchomp, the Togus kind of just checks that and does some work up against it. So Titar, come on down. Let's lock you in here and let's lock in the whole squad. Let's grab ourselves a win here in our first battle. But I wonder who he's going to lead. Imagine he leads Aerodactyl and we just go Ampharosin on it. Let's see. It is Aerodactyl and Arcanine come out here. Okay. Aerodactyl and Arcanine do come out here. I'm kind of with this. I'm kind of with this. Pressure's going to come out and Arcanine has Intimidate. He could go for a Snarl. We are both special attacking, so I'm chilling with this. He could definitely go for a Snarl. Uh, what's my play here? What is my play? Actually, I want to see the speeds on Pachirisu and Ampharos. Who's faster, who's slower? So we got 100, and he's 115. That's actually perfect for me. I'm really liking this. So Pachirisu is a little bit faster here. I do not see a point of going into a follow me. I just think going straight into a discharge. Actually, I could go follow me. No, we're going to go straight into a discharge and Super Fang at the same time. Because if Pachirisu can half the Arcanine's health, I feel like a Discharge can take that out, and then we can take out Aerodactyl at the same time with just a Discharge. So I'm with this. Rock Side's going to poke through here. No flinches, please. That's all I asked for is no flinches. We soaked that up all day. We're just looking for no flinches. And a Flare Blitz is going to fly here. Who's he going after? Pachirisu, hopefully? It is. Pachirisu's defense bulked. I love it. I love it. The thing's going to take recoil damage. We need no flinches out of Citrus Berry's poking. Is my combo going to work? Because this Citrus Berry plus the Volt Absorb can basically bring us Pachirisu up to almost half health. Pachirisu gets off Super Fang. That's lovely. Knock this thing down. And then Discharge come out here. Yes, sir. Bolt Absorb. Healing up the Pachirisu. Look at that. And then a double kill. And then a double kill to get the start. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Ampharos. Chill on him. Chill on him. This is exactly how I plan this team to be. Exactly how I plan this team to be. It's pretty much over. We might have a clean sweep here in battle number one. Ampharos is going to take life orb damage, but I can just follow me, discharge, follow me, discharge. Keep healing up that Pachirisu. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And he has Suicune, yo. He has Suicune. Oh, yes, sir. And Infernape. Okay, so Infernape can fake out. So in this case, you know what? I'm just going to protect Ampharos and go for a Nuzzle. Who do I Nuzzle up on? We're just going to Nuzzle up on Infernape here. I'm going to protect Ampharos. I do not want the fake out to happen. We do not want the fake out to happen. So we're going to protect the Ampharos. We need this Pokemon alive. We need this Pokemon alive. Let's see what he does here. Blaze Kick's coming in here. Okay, so no fake out. Go straight for a Blaze Kick, and we protect it anyway. So I'm loving this turn. I'm loving this turn. Nuzzle Pokes here. Now, is he doubling down in Ampharos? That would be even better. That would be even better. But the Paralyze is poking here, and what's he going for? A Tailwind. Okay, so he's going to take Speed Control, but he already had Speed Control, so it really didn't matter. Tailwind was kind of just a waste of a turn. But from here... From here, we just go for a Discharge. We go for Follow Me. I think we're thriving. I think we're thriving. Pachirisu is going to be able to bulk out some shots. Discharge is going to keep constantly healing up. I'm loving it, yo. I'm loving this combo. This is exactly how I plan it. This thing's going to use that Faint. All right. I'm with that. We soaked that up all day. And Follow Me is going to come out here. Because you know Faint's got to go first always. And what's this thing going for? A Scald. Scald's going to poke over here. Pachirisu should be able to uh, do pretty well with that. Yep, and then just Discharge pokes out here. Bolt Absorb, heal up. We can go into Follow Me again if needed, but I think this might KO both Pokemon. I'm telling you, yo, Ampharos hits hard as well. Discharge poking. Does not take out Suicune, but it's all good. We're just going to go into yet another Follow Me. Heal up Pachirisu and Discharge again. Yo, I told you guys from the beginning. This combo is where it's at. This is exactly how I plan having it, and it's working perfectly. Perfectly in our first battle. He just cancels out. It's GG's. I can't believe that combo worked that perfectly. The first battle, instantly getting after it and using the combo to its fullest potential. But we're hopping into our second battle here, looking to go back to back. Let's see what uh, Pokemon our opponent is rocking with. And okay, yo, pretty cool team right here. He's got Storm Drain Claytally. He's got Rotom Heat. Uh, how do you pronounce that Pokemon's name? Kelaclon? Kelcleon? That little chameleon dude. He's really cool. He's from Gen 3. I actually love that Pokemon's design. Then he has Tokus, Metagross, alongside with Milotic. So Ampharos could come out here and do some work. It really could. I kind of do like Ampharos. But I also want to go into like Gardevoir could be decently well here. And the order T-Tar Garchomp combo. So we could just bring Ampharos without Pachirisu. And then go into T-Tar Garchomp combo as a lead. I'm with these two as a lead. We're going to bring Ampharos in the back end. And I think we're just going to bring Gardevoir. I do like Gardevoir as long as that Metagross is gone. 
I do dig it. I do dig it. Or do we just bring kind of like you? I kind of like Gyarados. Gyarados is nice. But you know what? We're not going to bring Gyarados because he does have that, uh, does have that Rotom. The Rotom's kind of scary. Rotom is a little scary. Let's bring Gardevoir. Gardevoir has a choice card. Plus, we never showcased it in BDSP yet. So, let's rock out with it. Let's rock out with it and see what four Pokemon this guy is picking. And why do I have a feeling he's picking six? I don't know. It's just in the back of my head. I'm like, yo, dude, this dude is definitely picking six Pokemon. Let me see. Please, no. He goes in with uh, Kelkleon. I don't know how to pronounce it. I used to be able to know how to pronounce it, but he goes in with that alongside with Rotom, and I'm chilling with this. I'm chilling with this. Sandstream is popping, and Kelkleon kind of does, like, some weird stuff. Doesn't it have, like, a weird ability where it, like, changes typing or something? But this guy does bring four Pokemon, which is awesome. And you know what? I'm just going to go into Rock Slide, and I'm going to set up a Swords Dance. I am going to set up a Swords Dance here. I just think it's a play. I just think it is a lovely play just to set up Swords Dance while we have this Titar who's posing a threat on the Rotom mount. The Rotom could either protect, swap, or take a Rock Slide while our Garchomp sets up. So let's see what he does. Oh, this thing learns Fake Out. Okay. I'm with it. That thing learns Fake Out. And what is this Rotom going to do for? Maybe a Nasty Plot? Something along those lines? Let's see. Garchomp's going to Sword Dance. We bulk it up. I did not know that little booger learns uh, Fake Out. Dude, he has such cool design. This little, what is he? Chameleon Lizard? I think it's Chameleon, right? This thing's going to trick. Oh, he's tricking. Do not take my Yachi Berry. Do not touch my Yachi Berry. Switch items with his target. Who was target? God. Oh, we got a four. Bruh. Bruh, this thing just flame orbed me. As I'm swords dance. He flame orbed me. And he took my Yachi Berry. You buttery biscuit. Yo, good play. I'll give it to him all day. He burned my chomp. He burned my chomp. And took my item at the same time. That's no bueno. No bueno at all. Okay, in this case, do we just go for... Let's double down this... Uh, Hell clean. I, dude, I can't pronounce it. I don't know why. Dragon Claw's gonna come out here with the burn and still do a great amount of damage. Good thing we did Sword Dance up. He's gonna Bolt Switch pivot out here, and Rock Side's gonna be able to take out the Chameleon and do big damage onto this next Pokemon. God dang, man. God dang, Rotom. Using Trick on me. I like that play. I do like that play all day. He's gonna go into Milo Milo. I'm fine with that. We do outspeed it all day. And Rock Side's gonna poke here, say bye bye to Chameleon, and get off some nice, decent damage on the Milo Tech. I'll take it all day. So. I'm not really too worried about that Milotic, as we have Ampharos in the back. Like I said, Rotom Wash is definitely a problem. Well, not Wash. Rotom Heat's definitely a problem. He's definitely a huge problem. But I'm going to save my Guard Board for my back end. Because it is Choice Scarf, and we can choice into a certain move when we do his final Pokemon. This is his last Pokemon. We got Claydley over here. Little Claydley. Grass and... Grass and, uh, Rock. In this case, I'm going to double down at this, this little booger. I'm not liking how it's looking here. Kind of scare me. Milo's here. Milo's probably just going to go for a water move. Dragon Claw's going to poke. And can we get some flinches out here? Can we get some flinches? Big old rock slide. Chipping some damage. We just want one flinch at least. Milo takes use Ice Beam. And there goes my guard shot. All day. Later, guard shot. Get out of my face. They took my Yachi Berry. I could do nothing about it. So you're dead. Uh, who's he going to go into? Or what's he going to do? Oh, he flinches. Awesome. I thought maybe he would go into a Giga Drain and get some HP back. But we are sitting pretty. We are sitting pretty. So I can do two things here. I can do two things here. I can either bring out Gardevoir, bring out Ampharos. And I feel like either or I win the game, right? Either or I win the game. Let me see this T-Tar speed. The T-Tar's at 113. That's that, that's a real problem. Will Ampharos out speed? But I feel like if we just go into Gardevoir, we win the game. I'm going to go into Gardevoir. We shut off Ampharos in battle number one. Let's get Gardevoir out here. We might not even have to use Ampharos in battle number two. We're going to get out Gardevoir, the other part of this team right here, and just go into a Rock Slide. And a Dazzling Gleam, right? That's GG's. We'll choice to a Dazzling Gleam. It's over with. It's GG's. Genes is going back to back with the Ampharos team. This Ampharos team is making it easy. It's making it easy for me. We rock slide. And of course, yo, Milotic dodges it. And we take... Oh my god, we don't take out Claydoy. What you mean? Yo, we should have brought an Ampharos. Yo, go ahead. Recover up. Just know Ampharos is in that back end waiting for you. Just know that. Just know that. This thing's going to go for a Leech Seed. Probably protect the next turn. Yo, are you kidding me? This thing survives on one HP. One HP. He gets a free focus ash. Don't like it one big bit. Milotic's gonna take buffets. Claydley does take buffets due to its rock typing. And now it's gonna use its leftovers. And it's gonna get leech seed health. And then I think it's gonna protect this turn. But I'm gonna gleam, and I think Gleam might be able to take it out with this health. Let's see it. Let's see how much health he's at. How much health are you stealing from him? Leech seed setting up. Yeah, I think Gleam takes that out. So you know what? Let's just go into. Rock side, looking for more flinches, doubling down again, and then just, we have to go into Dazzling because we're choice. But I just want this Milotic to know that my Ampharos is coming for it. 
He does not protect Claydoli. Claydoli survives again because this thing is bulked. We get a crit on Milotic, which is lovely. And Rockside comes out here, picks up the double kill. Okay, never mind. We don't even need Airforce. Both of you, get on out of here. Get on out of my game. This is my game. I own it. I own it. He's going to bring out his last Pokemon, which we already know what it is. And it's GG. Gleam can do some work. We got a Rock Slide poking out here. It's over. Do I swap into Ampharos? Is the real question. Do I swap into Ampharos? I kind of want to swap into Ampharos. I kind of do. I'm going to swap into Ampharos. Let's have some fun with this one. <laughs> let's have some fun with this one. We're going to swap into Ampharos. We're going to go... Actually, let's uh, let's swap our Gardevoir in this case. Let's swap our Gardevoir in this case because just in case something goes wrong, we can uh, choice into a different move. Like Psychic. And let's get some Ampharos leveled in here. Watch, he's going to cancel battle. No, he doesn't. Awesome. So my lovely little Ampharos. I don't even know what animal it is, but it looks cool. Comes out here. Looking to pick up some KOs. We do have Dragon Pulse on it. And Volt Switch is going to poke out here. So he's doing some Volt Switch damage. T-Tart eats up all day. Rockside's going to poke. And of course he dodges it. A little whack. You know, let's just do this. Let's protect and just go into our low coverage move. I'm curious to see how much uh, damage this could do. I'm really curious. So we protect. He better go for that Volt Switch into T-Tart. A nice little read here. Yeah, yo, all day, yo. You cannot outplay jeans. We got you in the bag. We're just touring with you now, getting our Ampharos out here. Dragon Pulse gonna fly here, which is a great coverage move for this Pokemon. And do a great amount of damage. That's a good that's a good chunk right there. That's a great chunk here. But in this case, we're just gonna have to drop a rock slide here. Pitar's gonna go down to Volt Switch. Dragon Pulse gonna fly here. We'll get Gardevoir out here and we'll win the battle. Or he just cancels. There it is. 2-0. Let's hop to her third. Let's grab ourselves that perfect record. The wins are just flowing today. We went back to back. Let's keep it flowing by going three battles in a row with a victory with this Ampharos team here in battle number three. But who's this guy rock with? Oh, is this guy copying my team? Yo, does this guy watch my videos? Does this guy watch my videos? I would absolutely love it. I would absolutely love if this guy watches my videos. He's got my Typhlosion Sun team. I use the exact same team in a video. So if this is the exact same team, I should know exactly what he has. But we are going to bring Ampharos as lead alongside with Pachiri. So I just feel like both these are a really, really good lead. And bring Titar in the back just to take weather control if needed. So let's rock out with these two. Let's do it. Let's rock out with them two and then bring in uh, Gyarados in the back. would be really, really good. I do like having Gyarados in the back if we can get out these Pokemon without weather. You know, let's lock in those four. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But this will be so cool if this guy actually watched my videos and recreated this team based on uh, what I used. Because this team... This uh, Typhlosion team, I fully built myself. I fully built it myself, built the Victory Bell, built all that stuff, made the Pokey Pace, and it was just, it's just great. It's just a really good team. He's going to end up leading these two, which I'm totally cool with. I'm really cool with him going in with both these. I could just go straight into a Follow Me, which might be my play, and just go into a Discharge. He might fake me out. You know what? I'm just going to go into a Discharge here, and not even go into a Follow Me. I'm just going to nuzzle up onto his Hariyama, because either he fakes me out, my Ampharos, or he takes his Paralyzed, which is great. So he's going to fake out Pachamisu here. Okay, and then his Discharge is going to fly through there. Let's see how this one plays out. Nasty. Spot. So this thing's setting up a nasty spot. I can just go straight into a Follow Me. But I was kind of wishing he faked out my Ampharos because then we could have nuzzled his Hariyama and uh, he wouldn't have had Flame Moves, which would have been great. Both of us can come out here. We're going to heal up the Pachamisu and we're just going to get rocking out from here. Nasty Plot is kind of scaring me. Let's see how much damage we can do with this Discharge here. Pretty good shot. Not bad damage from Ampharos here on two of these uh, nice little bulky mods. Burn's going to trigger over from him, and in this case, let's just discharge again, try to get off as much damage, and just go into a follow me. I don't really care if Pachirisu goes down, to be honest. I'm just trying to do as much damage with my, uh, with my Ampharos right here. Let's just follow me, constantly heal, roll out with this combo again, just like we did in battle number one, but I think this one's going to be a bit tougher. I do think this battle is going to be a bit tougher here. Follow me, Pokin. Let's get it. Soak it up, Patrick. So it doesn't do too well up against special attacking moves, but it's better than nothing. Hydro Pump gets dodged. That's lovely. That is amazing for us. That is amazing for us that we get to dodge at Hydro Pump because that Hydro Pump was probably taking that, us out. It was plus two. It was definitely looking scary. The so Hariyama's probably going to go into a close combat. Facade. One or the other. Up into my Patrick with guts. So let's see this one. Knockoff's coming out here. I'm going to take off my Citrus Berry. And that's cool. We'll just follow me this turn, and we're going to, into a yet another Discharge. Right? That's got to be your play. Where do we Volt Switch out? We could definitely Volt Switch out, but I just think Discharge is definitely the play. Discharge here. Going to follow me. Let's do it again. Let's soak it up. Dodge another Hydro Pump. Yo, if we could dodge another Hydro Pump, that would be... Mwah, it would be beautiful. It would be beautiful. Yo, know, this little squirrel over here, Patrizus, no joke. This thing's a menace. This thing is a menace with its moveset. Follow me, Super Fang. Nuzzle. 
Oh, dude, it's just so good. It is just so good. It's just too good. It is really too good. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. He's gonna end up with John Hari. I'm, I'm with that all day. He's gonna showcase another Pokemon. Is it gonna be Night Tails? Night Tails is gonna come out here, which is totally fine by me because he's gonna set weather first. We have that T Tar in the back to do some work. And what's he gonna go into with this uh with this Rotom? Another Hydro Pump? Probably not anymore. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna go into he went to the drought? And now is he gonna go for a Hydro Pump? That'd be weird. Hydro Pump is gonna come out here. And we dodge again, yo. The squirrel plays no games. We're healing it back up with Bolt Absorb. Let's rock out. Get a big old discharge over here. Big old discharge coming out here. Doing some damage on the Rotom. Dude, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I do not think Heat Wave can take out my Ampharos. I really do not think that can happen. And we're just going to go into another follow me here. And this guy brought six Pokemon. I just saw he brought six Pokemon. He just brought six Pokemon. Get out my face. Get out my face. You guys know the rules. When I play up against six Pokemon, if I KO four, I count it as a win in my book. We're going to follow me again. We're gonna just going to keep rinse repeating this combo and rocking out with Ampharos. Let's see what happens here. Heat Wave's going to fly through here. Ampharos should be able to eat up, right? Yeah, all day, Ampharos. Patricia, dodge another Hydro Pump. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Hydro Pump's going to come through here. Probably KO it because it's plus two with a nasty plot. Yeah, and that's totally fine. That is totally fine. This charge is going to fly, and we got to just watch out what we're doing now. Because we might have to play this one a tad bit different. Just a tad bit different due to... uh Oh, nice big paralyze on Nightdales. Due to him having six Pokemon. Because I would love to win this. I would honestly love to win this uh battle. I would love to win this battle, this 4v6, but it's not really looking too good. I'm going to bring out T-Tar here, change up weather, and I could just drop a rock and bolt switch out. Who's he going to bring out? It really depends who he brings out here. The T-Tar flies out here. A victory bell could come out here. Yep, there's victory bell and bolt switch. Bolt switch in the rock slide? What's the play? Let's play here, jeans. Sandstream's poking. No more heat for him. No more heat for him. So the grass is definitely scaring me. Could just go straight into a bolt switch. I could go into a Dragon Pulse. I think we double down into this Victory Bell and try to try to KO this thing. Because Ninetales is slowed. Ninetales isn't fast anymore due to the Paralyze. So I think just doubling down into Victory Bell here could definitely be the play. But the real question is, does Victory Bell outspeed us? It might outspeed my Ampharos, but I don't think it outspeeds my T-Tar. Ninetales goes for a Protect. That was a smart Protect by him. I'll give it to him all day. And Victory Bell is just going to go straight for a Sleep Out. Wow. Faster than my T-Tar, man. This thing is cooking. This thing is cooking, even without the heat. Nice little protect by him. Let's pop out with a, a Dragon Pulse here. Get after it that way. So Dragon Pulse is going to poke here. Get some work on it. How much are we going to do? Half. I'm with that all day. Big old half damage there. Do I protect my boy? No, I have to go into a move. I have to go into a move because Ampharos will go down to buff its next turn. So if we protect, we're just we're just killing our Ampharos. At that point. So we'll go into a move. We'll, we'll let Ampharos go down here. And all we need is a... Uh, how many more kills? We're doing good, yo. This is going to actually come down close with this 4v6. All right, let's go into this Dragon Pulse here. And then... Just Rock Slide? Yeah, I guess we'll Rock Slide. Hopefully, we can have Quick Naps, yo. Quick Naps are the best. I don't even think he puts me to sleep. I think he just I think he just uh, takes me out with uh, Victory Bell. Honestly, what is he going to do here? Victory Bell's going for Solar Beam, so it's charging up power here. And that was actually not a smart move. Because Ampharo should outspeed the Ninetales and take out Victory Bell now. Let's go. Let's go. Take him out, right? Yo, let's go. Let's go. Our opponent makes a huge mistake. Ampharo's going to take out Victory Bell, but he's going to die to the Life Orb damage. But yo, I'll take that all day. This actually gives us a shot at winning this next battle. Or at winning this uh, 4v6. Ninetales is paralyzed. Yo, that's huge. That is huge, yo. Jeans is coming out here. You know he loves to win his, win his 4v6s. Next Buffet is going to take out Ninetales, but we're going to bring out Gar or uh, Gyarados here. And maybe he'll go back into Hariyama, and we'll get an Intimidate Drop on him. But Fable's going to come out. Okay, so Fable comes out here, and what do we do from here? Protect? I could protect and set up a D-Dance. It'll be my play. Because I have a feeling T-Tar's waking up this turn, so I think Protect's going to be the play because a Moonblast is probably going to fly through here. A lovely little Moonblast is going to fly through here. Ninetales will go down to the Buffets, and if I can set up a D-Dance, we can pretty much start solidifying this battle. You know what? Let's D-Dance up, and, let, and let's uh, pray to the Poke Gods that my T-Tar has quick naps here, wakes up, and gets off this block, just so we can block this one. I'm not trying to deal with the Moonblast. Moonblast and T-Tar is a no-no. Big no-no. T-Tar wakes up. Let's go, Poke Gods. Thank you, Poke Gods. We get off a big protect. I'm guessing Moonblast coming in here, right? If I had to guess. Gyarados D-Dances. Ninetales will go down the buffets. If not, we'll just take it out with a rock slide next turn. 
and we'll see if the Moonblast is flying through here. Was my read correct here? Was the Gene's read correct here? Nine Tails is still paralyzed, yo. Get out of my face. That's what you get for bringing six Pokemon. And Fable goes for Moonblast, yo. Let's go. Let's go. I'm on today. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. This is how you got to do it to win 4v6. You got to make plays like that and reads like that. And we are doing exactly that. Buffets do come out here. Take out the Nine Tails. Is that a fourth Pokemon kill there? Or that's three. That is three, but we have a shot at winning this. A pretty big shot. We got a D-Dance uh, Gyarados set up here. And we know he has Typhlosion in the back, and we know he has Hariyama in the back. So what is this dude's play here? I'm actually hoping Hariyama is I'm hoping Typhlosion, but I think he saves his right? He does bring Typhlosion. I love this thing. Okay, so this thing's Choice Scarf. Uh, we do have Focus Ash. This one's going to be close. This one's going to be a real close battle. We're just going to go straight for a Waterfall. We're going to take out Typhlosion. And I cannot protect again, so we'll just go for... Do we go for Rock Slide or Crunch? We're gonna go for Rock Slide because maybe, just maybe, we can make this Clefable flinch. This battle's gonna be super close. I could have D-danced again. But if my T-Tar survives here, then I might go into Protect and D-dance again. That flinch is gonna erupt and outspeed everybody. That's totally fine. Should be able to soak up pretty easily. Yeah, that's a nice little soak up. Gyarados is gonna go next. We're gonna say, Ayo, Typhlosion. Get on my face. So, so far... We got ourselves a win in my book. That's four kills. We're down to a 2v2 situation here, but Fable can take out my uh, T-Tar here. Unless we get a flinch. Unless we get a flinch. That's what we're hoping for. Big old flinch. Let's go. Pokey guys need some help here. Oh, no. Eat this up, T-Tar. Eat it up, baby. Tasty snack. Tasty snack, yo. Let's go. Let's go, dude. I'm loving this battle right now. Loving this battle. Buffett's going to fly through here. He does have Hariyama ready to roll. And in this case, I think I just double protect. Right, because Fake Out can really do me dirty. So if I double protect... Hmm. I'm trying to think, yeah, if I double protect here, that's definitely the play. Because we can block the Fake Out. And then we can just take that Hariyama out with a Rock Slide next turn. Actually, it might go down the Buffets and Burn. But Buffets might end next turn. Let's go. Let's just double protect. Slow this one down, yo. I want this. I want this 4v6 so bad. And the best part is I didn't even notice it was a 4v6 till like a little bit through the battle. I was just like, wait a minute, yo, this guy has six Pokemon. But Ampharos and Patrisu did a lot of work in the beginning, and these guys are doing some work in the back end. We got the Dragonist set up on Gyarados, making some good reads with the Protect. And we'll double Protect here, block the shot with the Gyarados, and he's just going to go into another move Blast. Okay, so double block, come out. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And I think I just Waterfall over all oh, Sandstorm subsides. That's tough. That's real tough. I think we just Waterfall into Fable and Rock Slide on the both of them, right? Because we actually have to hope this Rock Slide connects. We actually have to hope that this Rock Slide connects. Now, I'm going to bank on it, yo. Because if it misses, Hariyama's going to be able to pick up a big KO. So we're going to go for Rock Slide. We're going to go with uh, Waterfall as well. We'll see how this guy plays this one out. Protect. Oh, yo. Protect comes out from Hariyama. That's GG's. That is GG's now. Unless he protects with Fable. But he doesn't. Waterfall's coming out here. Can this KO? No, it doesn't. We might be able to get a flinch. We actually have two flinch chances. One with Waterfall and one with Rock Slide. So I'm hoping, hoping we get, we get a flinch. This comes out here. Big old damage onto the Fable. And it doesn't flinch. It caught mine sets up though. But that's GG's. That is GG's. It's over with. That was, that was actually a dumb calm mind setup. Actually, it kind of wasn't. He was kind of banking on one of my Pokemon at least going after, uh, going after Hariyama. So he was trying to set up the special attack. And just get warm from there. So I'll give him props for that. This was his last ditch effort. We can double protect here if we really want to. Which might be my play. But it, I'm, I'm, I'm taking out the game here. We're going to say bye bye Fable. And did we just crunch? Yeah, we're just going to crunch here. Guaranteed the KO. GG's. 4v6 it. 4v6 it. To grab ourselves a perfect record. Yeah, you got to love it. Yo, this Ampharos team was so much fun to use. I love the combo of Ampharos alongside with Pachirisu. It just works actually better than I expected it to. I was just like, okay, it's going to work a little bit. It was just bulking through. It was honestly just bulking through. Follow me's were constantly coming. The Voltum Sword was constantly giving that Patrizio HP. And then the Discharge was doing so much damage on the field. It was awesome. But yo, 3-0, perfect record with Ampharos. This Ampharos team, really, really strong. I absolutely loved it. Had a blast with it. And more importantly, grabbed ourselves a perfect record for today's video. You guys know me. I love using off-meta Pokemon. But this team would honestly be stronger if you switch out Ampharos for Zapdos. Because Zapdos just has a higher base special attack and it can't be affected by ground moves so all around it's a lot better but yo 
you guys already know the deal we're here to showcase pokemon and have some fun at the same time but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody